everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live. Happy Friday to everyone. Um, I hope you all are having a really great day. I'm super psyched that it's Friday. Um, as you all kind of join, I'm going to go over a couple of things before we switch it on over. There's nobody. Oh, there's a couple people now. Give you guys a second to get on. It's really nice here in Joplin today, which is kind of a shocker. We started out the week with snow, but I hope it's safe and nice wherever you're at. We only have one viewer at the moment. Okay, well, all right, you guys are hopping on. I'm like, where is everybody? Um, okay, let's go. <laughs> So it is our 90th anniversary this year. Our company began in 1931. So with it being 2021, um, it's super exciting. We're 90 years old. Um, so happy birthday, Tri-State. Um, every Friday you'll see in the morning, I'll be posting a trivia question. It might have to do with uh, the trucking industry. It might have to do with the time period. Uh, we started in the 1930s, so it might have something to do with that. It might be 90s trivia because we're 90 years old. Um, whatever it is, feel free to just engage, interact. Um, we want to keep it light. We want to keep it fun, uh, given the kind of world we're in right now. Um, and it's fun to celebrate birthdays, and it's our birthday, so um, that's exciting. But today's trivia question was, which of the following sectors of the transportation industry was trucking's biggest rival in the 1930s? And the options were uh, shipping, airlines, and the railroad industry. And for those of you who said the railroad industry, you are correct. They were trucking's biggest rivals in the 1930s. So that's just a little bit of fun. But today we are in Joplin and we have Miss Cheryl Hinkle, uh, the director of HR, with us. So I hope you guys tune in. Um, if it's not safe for you to be watching this, please wait until it is. Um, be sure to ask questions. We'll try to get to as many as we can. Um, and I'm glad to see more people are hopping on. That makes me feel relieved. Okay. Relieved or nervous? <laughs> well, both. Relieved that I didn't uh, accidentally go live on my page again. Because I did that once. And I was like, why is Where's no one on? <laughs> yeah, cool. That's okay. I don't know how to do any of that. So that's why I had you. Thank God. <laughs> um. So, 90th birthday, you know, Riley was saying that she's excited, she loves birthdays. I'm going to just sit here and say she says that because she's young, and <laughs> that's why she's so excited about them. The older you get, the less that you enjoy them, but hey, it's another day that you're alive and kicking, so uh, I'm not going to complain about them. So, we we don't have a whole lot to go over today. Um, like Riley said, it's beautiful here. It's Friday, so um, hopefully everybody's enjoying their day, having a great day, being safe out there. Um, uh, on the COVID front, one of the things I kind of want to touch on, um, you know, the big push now is vaccination. So um, there's a lot of information out there, but it's very um, overwhelming if you're not sure kind of what you're looking for. So um, you know, we've been getting a lot of questions. One of the things I want to say is every state and even local governments are different on how they're releasing, you know, the, the vaccinations and stuff. So they all have these steps and processes. You know, you have your phase 1A and, and 1B and then there's separate tiers in them and everything. So anybody that is interested um, in getting vaccinated or whatever, you know, I've had a lot of questions where they're reaching out to us. My suggestion is going to be to um, check with your local, um, what am I, what, what's that word? Why am I drawing Doctor, blank? Doctor, provider? No, your um, health department. Oh. That's what I was trying to think of. It is Friday. <laughs> um, so your local health department has a lot of information on how they're, they are releasing those locally. Um, because most all of them right now that I've been seeing, um, I know like here, in Joplin, they're just now hitting phase um, phase one, tier two, like they're not, you know, like for a lot of the people, depending on if you're not at high risk or a certain age or whatever, you know, essential workers, trucking industry and everything is typically um, for here in Missouri and a lot of times on the CDC guidelines too, we're in um, phase one B tier three. So um, 
any time that you can reach out to the local health department, they'll be able to give you guidance on appointments and things. It's not, you know, a lot of times even when they have the clinics that you go through, like a drive through clinic or whatever, they're requiring appointments, prior appointments for those and then proof of, you know, your eligibility to get those. So, um, you know, local health departments, your best information on that. Are there any questions on that before not I go yet. on? Okay. Um, another thing, just wanted to give everybody an update. So um, W-2s were printed and mailed um, this week. So you should be looking for those um, in the mail. Those all went out. If you, um, depending, you know, if you happen to have an address change and you didn't notify us or something like that, you need to reach out uh, if your driver, someone in driver payroll, um, or HR and then we can make sure and get that adjusted once those are mailed it takes us a little bit to get digital copies loaded because the just the, the you know as many of them as we have it just takes a while to put those into our imaging system so you know we do ask give it a little bit for the you know for the ones to go in the mail and then if you start having issues or you're not getting them you can reach out you know driver payroll HR something like that and we'll be able to hopefully get you a digital copy, but it will take us a little bit to put those in the system. Um, <clears throat> 1095Cs, which is anybody that is on, um, you know, like that's part of the ACA requirements is a 1095C, which tells whether you were on a health plan or not, um, affordable coverage, all those kind of things. Those aren't actually due until April, but you know, a lot of times people will file those and think they have to have those for their taxes. Um, I don't know why they have separate deadlines on them, but they do, and I think it's just because of the newness of them and, and employers, you know, that's it's a big task to get those 1095s out. So um, those, a lot of times, you, you truly don't have to have those to file your taxes. You just have to have them for proof if you ever get audited, you know, on answering the questions of whether you had health coverage and all that kind of stuff. So those, um, we're shooting to have those out by March. Um, so hopefully uh, those will be following suit. If anybody has questions on those, feel to reach out, um, anybody on the HR team. Um, one of the things that we kind of wanted to go over is, um, you know, in the, in the trucking industry right now, um, anybody can tell at the pump, um, oil prices are going up, so gas prices are going up. Um, there's already been about a 20% increase, um, you know, at the pump, so you know, as a trucking industry, we we feel that. Um, obviously, when that starts happening, there, you know, um, we was talking on a leadership call the other day, and, uh, you know, some of the projections are uh, oil prices are gonna, they're expecting to pro possibly get up to 70, $75 um, a barrel, which is, you know, prices that were, you know, five, six years ago. So uh, that that's definitely gonna put an increase in the cost. So. One of the things we wanted to uh, let everybody know is like, especially for owners and stuff like that, your, you know, your prices at the pump are gonna be higher and then, you know, discounts are gonna be less. Um, obviously when that uh, price of fuel goes up, you're gonna feel that. And then with, with the way that we do things, um, because of the regulations, fuel surcharge has a lag. So um, it's not that immediate, you know, bump when the prices go up, you know, we're tied to that lag. Um, before we get approved for that fuel a surcharge, surcharge increase. So be mindful on owners that, you know, you're gonna have that lag and as costs go up and everything, you know, your fuel surcharge may not be where you expect it to be yet because of the lag on that. So um, just kind of one of the things that's going on with, uh, you know, one of the executive orders that was signed. Any questions? Okay, uh, one of the things that um, we had kind of been talking about, Riley and I just a little bit ago was talking about this, you know, she talked about the 90th birthday and all that kind of stuff. Um, we want to be, you know, we want you guys to interact with us, to let us know what's going on in your lives, you know, your your milestones, your, your big things that are going on, and you know, and obviously if you're struggling or something, reach out to, you know, somebody in HR and, you know, we want to talk to you about that but you know feel free to share with us when you have major events you know if you have a wedding or the birth of a you know a child a grandchild something like that we would love to be able to know that and share that if you're willing you know on our facebook page and everything so i think that's a really good way to stay connected you know everything now with social media um you know it allows us to be a little bit more active in each other's um 
you know, lives. And if that's something that you're interested in, Riley is our social media expert. So um, you can always email those to her, you know, little things, pictures, whatever. Her email is Riley, uh, riley.porter at roadmastergroup.com. So R-I-L-E-Y dot Porter, P-O-R-T-E-R at roadmastergroup.com. Feel free to put those out there to her because we would love to share those with the, you know, with everybody. Um, if you're a private person, I understand that too, but you know, a lot of people want to make those announcements when things happen, you know, when, when you have things go on in your life that, um, you know, you want to share with your coworkers and stuff. So, you know, last year for me was, um, was, you know, pretty exciting. I have two boys and, you know, one of them graduated with his RN and so he's now a nurse and then the other one uh, graduated the academy, police academy, and so he's a cop. So, you know, for my mama heart, that made me proud. So, you know, those are things like when you have something like that go on um, and you want to share that with, you know, your friends and coworkers, give that stuff to Riley and we'll put that out there for you. And, you know, we want to congratulate you and share in those milestones with you. So, um, just know that that's out there. Is there, is there any questions? Um, no, um, aside from hellos, oh, we just had one, uh, oh, give me two. Hey. <laughs> and there's lots of hellos. <laughs> Tracy Veneer said she loves your shirt. Oh, thank um, you. and then Holly Quinn says, does the company foresee going back to daily fuel limits? Um, you know, Holly, right now, I don't, that's really not been talked about, um, Obviously, we're going to be mindful of what's going on. Um, you know, I, that's not something I would probably have to get back with you on. I'm going to tell you right now, that's not been talked about at all. You know, we just kind of, on our leadership calls, a lot of times we just go over kind of what, like what we do with you guys on these Friday Lives, kind of what's going on in the industry, what we're looking at. And, you know, that's just with the prices rising on, you know, barrels of oil and everything. We're just mindful of that because we know that that could really affect us. So that's a great question right now. We don't have that, but obviously we're going to keep you guys in the loop if we have anything, you know, that's coming down the pipeline <laughs> on that. We'll we'll see what all that entails, but great question, Holly. Thanks. Um, and then other than that, we don't have anything new in. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm not going to get made fun of because this <laughs> isn't on here. So <laughs> and I hope everybody has a great day. You know, you guys are out there. Um, keeping this company running and I know you're away from your homes and once again we appreciate everything you, that you do you know um, we couldn't be what we are without you so please um, if you guys ever need anything just reach out to us let us know and we um, will always try to do our best to help you so I hope everybody has a great day have a great Friday a great weekend um, stay safe out there and we will see you next week thank you